Hi my Swannies, this is Susan Swan with another video for you today. I told y'all I was going to be dropping them every day, flips that hair. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be dropping them every day. So, this video is specifically about Taurus women being in relationships. And what makes it interesting is the fact that I told my subscribers to reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram. My Facebook is Susan Swanigan. And my Instagram is simply Susan. I told them to reach out in, re in reference to how to deal with your Taurus women, okay? Because a lot of people say we're difficult. Don't judge us. We're difficult for a reason. But anyway, my um, subscribers will uh, remain anonymous in this as 10 questions. And I'm going to answer them. Now, by all means, I have on my psychiatrist role-playing jacket. I'm not a real psychiatrist, okay? I'm not a real therapist. This is only my opinion. So, first and foremost, the first question is, Susan, I am in love with this Taurus woman, but she's giving me such a hard time. First she loves me, and then she don't. First she loves me, then she don't. Well, let me tell you why. The only reason she's giving you a hard time is because she have been in some bullshit-ass relationships. Okay, that's real as I can, I, that's real as I can get, Okay. This video is going to be real, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for any of you because y'all need to know the tea, okay? The tea is she been in some bullshit-ass relationships, gave her heart to the wrong people, and they screwed it up, you know? But let me tell you something, and she's protecting her heart because Taurus women, we guard our heart. Now, that is so true, and that is the reason why we guard it because we gave it to the wrong people, and they didn't know what the hell to do with it, and so now we like, oh, hell no. This next person, I'm, I'm avoiding all that. We're going to observe. So we like to observe the individual that we're talking to. So we know for sure, hey, if I break this chain, okay, and give you my heart, then it's going to be safe. Okay? So that's why she's giving you a hard time. And sometimes the reason why we give you hard times is because we see stuff. You know, we repetitive things that you do. You know, and, and in her mind, she's like, do I want to deal with this shit? I don't know if I want to deal with this. But then I love them. And then you do something real sweet and then she'd be like, oh, I love you. And then you do that same shit that she was thinking, should I deal with this? So, if she's doing that, first and foremost, she's observing you. So, be good, okay? Be good. And be patient because if she really want to be with you and she really love you, she's going to let you in, okay? But you have to be patient with her because if you're not, let me tell you what she would do. Bye. I don't have time for this because one... You are smothering her. You're all in her proximity and not giving her space to even, you know, want to be in a relationship. And a Taurus woman loves to be in a relationship. Yes, we do. We do. And I hope that answered your question. Now, I'm going to be looking down at my little book with the questions on it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all know I have a little cold or something. And I've been to the doctor for it. I'm taking antibiotic and everything for it, you know. It's just simply a cold, and I'm allergic to the pollen in the air, okay? So if I cough, that's because I'm going through that, okay? Next question. Why is it that every time me and my girlfriend get into an argument, she says she's done? <laughs> oh, that sounds like me. Woo. That sounds so much like me. Because when I get in an argument... I'm done. If I said what I had to say, I'm done. And we're we're like that. That could be a selfish thing for us. Okay, I have to admit that. That that could sometimes be selfish because we don't let our partners talk. And sometimes the partners need to get out what they want to say. But as a Taurus woman, when we get out what we have to say, ain't nothing else can be said because we're done. We don't want to hear you. Okay? What you say is irrelevant. I don't care. Okay? I'm done. And if she does that, <laughs> it is a petty thing that we do, okay? But, you know, we don't like to argue. And the best way to not argue is to just say what we got to say and be done with it and move along. And y'all might call this like bipolar, but it's not bipolar. It's just that we don't want to put any more energy into something that's really not being resolved, okay? And if it's not being resolved, then why sit up there and argue about it? Why not just be like, okay, I'm done? Okay, can we move on from this now? Next question. Okay, the next question is, I want to try new things with my Taurus woman, but she is skeptical about it because I have a big package. First of all, let me tell you, sir, flipping the hair on you, 
Taurus women will try anything once. But if it's something that can ruin her down there, we ain't trying to be all wide and outside. No, because let me tell you something. You might be a temporary situation. And then when a the permanent come, then guess what? You messed us up. So I'm, I'm with sis on that. If it's if she should be, you know, kind of careful, especially if you can mess up some things. Okay. No. Just you know, on the real side, just be gentle. You know, if she let you, don't be you know trying to beat her and you know up, and then she be like you know ocean. Okay. That's the only PG way that I can put this, okay? A Taurus woman not finna let you do all that, you know? She ain't finna let you be beating her up or whatever because guess what? We love ourselves. We self-care, honey. We love all of us, okay? And so when the next person mess up or if that person mess up, then we self-care and we go hard, okay? So first and foremost, when we go hard and that person mess up, that first person mess up, that second person come along, they're going to get a whole new snack. And everything is going to be tight and right. Okay? So don't be trying to make her our ocean view. And I'm saying that wide. And, you know, don't try it. Okay? Because it's not something that she's going to be okay with. Now, if she love you, if y'all at that point to where, okay, y'all been together for years or whatever, and she love you or whatever, then she might let you do it one time. But when she lets you do it that one time, don't be acting all silly and stuff. Don't be a straight up, you know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay next question okay me and my Taurus girlfriend got into a fight and I accidentally slapped her Ooh. okay and she broke up with me I want her back what do I do first and foremost your hands belong on your body, okay? Didn't your mom tell you, hey, put your hands and your feet, put, put, put them to the side, okay? Put your feet on the ground. Keep your hands to yourself. Or did your granny tell you? Did your daddy tell you? Did somebody tell you? Because let me tell you something about a Taurus woman. If you hit her, it's over, okay? This ain't no I can Tina. We're not going to be there and let you abuse us. No, please. Are you serious? No, you don't put your hands on people, period. Whether she's a Taurus woman or not, you don't put your hands on her. Yeah, I got to get some water on you. <coughs> First and foremost, sir, you don't put your hands on anybody. If you get upset with her, you walk away, okay? Or tell her to leave, whatever the situation may be. But I'm going to tell you now, from experience... I took a person back, okay, when they put their hands on me, okay. We sat down and we had a talk. If you do it again, it's over, okay. Now, when I took that person back, I was like, I felt like crap because I'm like, you're going against your own morals, you know, and that's what I did. I went against my own morals, you know what I'm saying? I deflate, I deflated. I devalued myself by allowing this person to come back in my life and then they did it a second time and guess what sis got gone bye mm -mm. bye it's over you don't put your hands on the Taurus woman and expect her to be like babe please I love you come back to me I'll never do it again come on babe please 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 love me no she gonna be gone okay because there's somebody out there that's looking at your woman okay Taurus women are good women. And one thing about it, we always keep ourselves up. We always dress it up. We always look good. And the mental is always on point. And mother, we are bosses. Look at Candy Barres. Huh. Hmm. Coretta Sky King. You don't hit bosses. Okay. No. So I hope she come back to you if that's what she wants. But my opinion, you, I might lose you as a subscriber because, hmm. I wouldn't come back to you. I wouldn't come back to you. Because that is a coward way of doing things. That is not your child. You don't hit them, period. Okay? You don't hit them, period. Period. You walk away. Now, if you did it and you, you, you're getting some counseling for it, whatever reason you did it, get some counseling for it. 
And if she see you, you know, trying to, you know, improve and you're going to counseling, then, hey, she'll take you back because she see that you're trying to do something about the situation. But if she's a hard like me, a Taurus like me, I'm May 15th. OK, she ain't coming back because she knows her value. She knows her value and she's not going to devalue herself to be with you. OK, and I hope I went too hard. Yes, I do. I wish I. Yeah, I, I was too hard on you on purpose. Yes, you need to learn a lesson. Okay, learn your lesson. Thank you. <laughs> Next question. My Taurus woman is freaky. She says I'm not freaky enough. Get freaky. Point blank period. Get freaky. Okay. I see that she's you're conservative. That's that's good. Conservative people get freaky. Get freaky. Okay. That's that's the that's the answer to that. Okay, next question. Huh. My Taurus lady is a boss, but she tends to get arrogance mixed up with pride. Hmm? I didn't understand that question. I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry about the the baby in the back. That's my grandchild, and but arrogance and pride. She tends to get them mixed up. Um. I really can't, um, I don't know what to say to that. Because one thing about Torians, we're not arrogant people. We are, people get, let me tell you something about why people think we're arrogant. People think we're arrogant because some people be like, oh, they think they're all that. It's not that we're all that. I feel like the universe has been kind of hard on Torians, whereas, hey, we, we are bosses. We work hard for what we want, and we're proud of what we have. And so when it comes to someone that's not used to, you know, knowing that's not used to valuing themselves and, and not knowing their self-worth, then it may seem like, hey, this is an arrogant MF. But we're not arrogant. I feel like the universe, God himself, has gave us cards that are very hard. So when it comes to someone that pride and arrogance, it's not that we're prideful. It's not that we're, have, you know, we're arrogant people. It's just we know our value and we are proud of who we have became because we've been through some storms, some tsunamis, some hurricanes, whatever you want to say. We've been through it. And life lessons has taught us that, hey. We're going to be grateful and we're going to be, we're going to be, you know, happy about our situations. You know, it's not being arrogant. We're just happy and we're not prideful either. We're just happy of our accomplishments. And we try to let people know, you know, by, you know, showing them. And it might come off as we're arrogant, but it's really not. So learn from it, brother, sister. Learn from it. Flipping my hair on you. Not hurt my neck. <laughs> anyway, this is a, um, one more question. Um, what are some things that Torians like as gifts? Oh, okay. I can tell you this for a fact that we are not expensive individuals. Now, when you come around us and you see our homes, our homes are going to be gorgeous because we love nice things and we can get that nice thing from a garage sale. You'll never know, but we love corny stuff. Like, for example, I had a friend that I think a couple of weeks ago, I went on a date with a friend. She's just a friend. And she was telling me, girl, my boo got me a trip to Jamaica. And I was all excited because my friend wrote me a letter and told me she loved me. Oh, my God. And she looked at me like, and what else did she get you? Nothing. It's just a thought that count. I love the letter because I love people expression, expressing expressing their emotions you know what i'm saying i was very excited and she was like girl what else is that gonna get you is this it so you don't have to be expensive with your taurian if you wake up in the morning and you have her on your mind and you decide that you want to write her a letter and put it by the bed with a breakfast that you made or something and a rose oh my god you don't even have to have a rose just the thought of you thinking about her in the morning it's going to make her be like oh my god i love this person Oh my God, I am so in love. It's going to make her fall head over heels because we're not expensive people. The thing about that is we like to, we're earth signs. So we're going to, you know, go out there and we're going to treat ourselves, you know. So it's nothing that we're not going to do for ourselves that we're not used to already because we can do it ourselves. We're bosses. We're boss bitches. Okay. And so little things like candy, just a candy heart, or you can say, Bang, I went out. You know, a lot of people think this is corny. But you can go out. Me, 
and you could be like, well, babe, I went out and I got you something. And you can give me a box and a little bitty box with just a kiss in it. And I'm going to die over that. I'm going to be like, oh my God, this is so sweet. Oh my, oh my God. This is amazing. And I love you. And you might get the draws, okay? You might get the draws for that because, hey, you thought about me. And that was a sweet gesture. But I'm going to end this video because that was my last question. I thought I had 10, but I didn't. But anyway, I hope that this helped because these are real life situations. Again, I'm sorry for the baby in the background. That's my grand, my grandchild. And if you like this video, turn on your post notifications because I'm dropping them every day. And if you want to know where to get in touch with me, go to Facebook for Susan Swanigan. Instagram for Simply Susan. And hey, TikTok. Susan Swan and I have a snapchat I know I told you I was going to drop my snapchat name snapchat chat my snapchat name but I will do it in the description below I will and y'all can follow me and y'all can ask me any questions that you want to ask me hey flip that hair and I will come back and I will answer you as far as my role playing videos I will be back because I got something special up my sleeve so you be ready be ready okay as far as my crazy girlfriend videos i got something too for that too so be ready bro but anyway i love you all everyone know y'all know i love y'all y'all do because i do this for y'all i get up every day and i say what content are we gonna do okay i check my email y'all talking to me i love y'all for that thank you so much and as i say in all my videos people i love you and there's nothing you can do about it. God bless. Mm -hmm.